I'm Jennifer Angel. These are your stars Capricorn for June. So your month ahead. So in your sixth house, there's an abundance of planetary activity. It's very, very busy. There's, uh, you've got Venus there, the Sun, and also um, there's a solar eclipse there. Now, let's not forget you did have a, oh, there was a solar eclipse last month on the 20th, and there's another new moon this month on the 19th. So all this is like, you know, abundance of energy just like coming your way. Now, what this means in reality for you is that you're going to be busy. If you thought you were busy before, and I'm a Capricorn, so I know what busy is for a Capricorn, then forget it, you're going to be busier. So you have to get organized and disciplined you have to get your routines together and stick to it also your health can be somewhat challenged over this period now what I mean by that is that you know you have to be conscious of looking after yourself because no one else is going to do it for you all right so you have to get out there set your routine in place make sure that you don't try to do too much even on the health routine because, you know, if you say, oh, you know, I'm going to go to the gym every day, I'm going to take a zinc vitamins, this is what I'm going to do with my dietary. Um, you know, if it's unrealistic and doesn't fit into your schedule for your day planner, then it's not going to happen. So bring it back, make sure it's realistic. So it's really very important that you have time for your health and well-being over this time. Now, your career, your ruling planet, Saturn, um, it's been sitting in your solar 10th house, career and business, for some time now. Now, it's been retrograde for a while. Finally, this month on the 25th, it's going to come out of its retrograde mood. So many of you, I hope you can start to feel, as I certainly can, being a Capricorn, things are starting to shift, okay? So over this next period, it's like one thing happens, another thing happens, it's all on top of each other. Momentum follows another reason for you just to get super organized okay so the lunar eclipse also this month on the fourth in your solar 12th house is going to give you the let's say prompt you to really think about where you're going this is a time to make some changes if you want to or need to love and romance i mean is there any time for love and romance after all that well the sun and mercury have a big influence on your uh, love life now and uh, you know you can actually attract somebody that's quite wonderful. Even if you're not out there looking for someone, uh, love has the capacity and the stars of the moment to come and tap on your shoulders. So, you know, be open for anything, be open for the unexpected. If you're in a relationship, remember no matter how, business, how busy you are, you still need to spend some time to be there for those that love and support you. Now your lucky numbers for the month are 4, 7, 19, 22 and 25 and your defining day, your defining day, your most dynamic day I put down is June the 25th and that's when Saturn comes out, out of its retrograde phase in your career zone and you're going to feel like the handbrake's taken off your life. So good luck Capricorn, have a great month. I'm Jennifer Angel, thanks for watching.